Hello and welcome to Cargo Shots from the Stat Trade Times. Here's our pick of the best new shots that made the headlines this week. Let's dive right into the headlines. In a bid to fuel an aviation renaissance in Africa, Ethiopian Airlines MRO, UTD Aviation Solutions and the African Airlines Association or AFRA for short have signed a tripartite memorandum of understanding to work together on maintenance, repair and overhaul services. The move comes in pursuance of the Brown Condor Initiative, better known as the BCI. The MOU was signed at the Ethiopian Airlines headquarters in Addis Ababa. The BCI is a joint initiative launched by UTD Aviation Solutions and AFRA in May 2021. It aims at providing a platform for AFRA members with MRO facilities to relieve the USA MRO workforce crunch in terms of both facilities and manpower constraints, as well as support other airlines from the USA in MRO services and aircraft spares. Air Canada and Air Canada Cargo operated the first dedicated freighter flight into Halifax Stanfield International Airport using the second Boeing 767-300ER to enter service. The flight from Toronto arrived in Halifax with freight coming from around Air Canada's global network and destined for Atlantic Canada. The addition of this aircraft will allow Air Canada Cargo to start high-frequency direct freighter capacity from Halifax to Air Canada Cargo's global network, including service to Frankfurt, Cologne, Istanbul and Madrid starting in May. Dinata, a leading global air and travel services provider, has installed a 3.5 megawatt rooftop solar power system across its operations including cargo and catering facilities at Changi Airport. The rooftop power plant comprises over 6,500 individual solar panels and will generate more than 4,300 megawatt hours of green power a year, enabling Dinata to reduce its electricity-related carbon emissions by 20% annually in Singapore. David Barker, Divisional Senior Vice President for Airport Operations Dinata, said the inaugurations of the solar power system in Singapore marks a significant milestone in Dinata's efforts to make operations even more sustainable and reduce carbon footprint by 20% in the next two years. Gurgaon-based leading drone delivery startup Tech Eagle launched Vertiplane X3, India's fastest hybrid electric vertical takeoff and landing drone, at the e-commerce logistics summit 2022 held in Mumbai on Wednesday. The newly launched drone has hybrid capabilities of a helicopter and an airplane, allowing it to take off and land vertically like a helicopter without the need for a runway. Tech Eagle is banking on demand from the healthcare, e-commerce, marine and defence sectors for its Made in India drone. Mumbai's Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj International Airport, or the CSMIA for short, reported a 30% increase in cargo handled at 556,900 metric tons for the financial year 2022 compared to the same period last year. While international cargo volumes increased 26%, domestic cargo volumes were up 40%, an official statement said. Import volumes totaled 260,600 metric tons and exports totaled 296,300 metric tons. The top three destinations that saw the highest imports were China, Germany and the US respectively. The US, UAE and Germany were the top destinations in terms of exports. Automobiles, pharmaceutical products and engineering goods saw the majority of transportation to top international destinations, whereas the top domestic destinations witnessed the movement of engineering goods, documents and samples and postal cargo in FY 2022. The second edition of the Indian Transport and Logistics News e-commerce logistics summit was held at Taj Santa Cruz on Wednesday. Experts and professionals from the e-commerce industry gathered together to share their insights and learnings from the e-commerce sector. The event's discourse wove its way around current topics shaping the e-commerce sector including regional language hurdles, supply chain visibility and tracking, data collaboration and sustainability. 
And that's a wrap for this week's episode. This is your host Manjula Nair signing off and wishing you a great weekend ahead. For the latest news on air freight, visit our website. Follow us on Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram and subscribe to our weekly newsletter. Give our YouTube channel a visit and subscribe to access our past webinars and virtual conferences and access exclusive one-on-one interviews with global logistics leaders. Thank you for tuning in to Cargo Shots by the Statrade Times. See you next week with a fresh roundup of Cargo Newsmakers.